Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. This time, I am introducing it because we have sick boys over here. So, we have Boy over there, as you can see on the bottom right. And we have Jimmy on the top. And then we have me, Josh. And if you don't know what this is, this is the Slope Podcast, where we talk about the Sakamichi series idols, which include Nogi Zaka, Kiyaki Zaka, Yoshimoto Zaka, and Hinata Zaka 46. And we're going to talk about the current events. We're going to talk about some, a couple of, you know, get us a couple of monies here and there. You know, talk about some commercials. And we're going to talk about the TV show Roundup at the end. So be sure to wait until then if you're interested in that. But first, I have to go through my segments, which is the comment of the week. Now, the comment of the week is the section where I talk about a comment I want to highlight from the past episode. And today's comment comes from a person called Raidan Zop, who says, my new Nogi fan privilege is that I got to come in with the fourth gen and have third gen somewhat already established. But anytime I go to watch Nogi Doko or earlier Nogi Choose, it's all dang. I missed out on all of this. How do you guys feel about that? Coming in fresh with these fourth <clears throat> gens? Um, or, well, when I, right? when I got yes. into Nogi Zaka, I didn't care to look back at old Nogi Zaka Te Doko episodes. And I just started from where I started. So I mm. didn't have that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got into Nogizaka, um, second gen was already auditioned. But they weren't uh, making any TV appearances on Nogidoko yet. Uh, well, yeah, I like third gen. I got into Nogizaka around Girls Rule. Um, so it's been a while. But uh, I, I, have the, I have this belief that the people who, and I, I, I'm probably going to be wrong, but the people who go back and watch everything are people who generally, at least at the time, don't speak Japanese. Because you, you'll, you'll like start where you are and then you'll catch up and then you'll run out of things to watch. Mm -hmm. But you're like so thirsty for it, so you're like, but I, there's I, I I can't understand this. I'll just go back and watch the old shit since that's subbed already. Yeah, all right. I did do that with uh, Morning Musume. Though. I'll see. But um, that was a, a while back. I didn't mm -hmm. even do that for the other group. Mm. I started with just episode one. I didn't even know what the current episode was when I started watching it. Uh, oh damn! What a what it, a completionist. Yeah. See, when I got into Nogizaka. <laughs> I was like watching the other group's show mm. weekly already. So I just kind of added mm -hmm. that into my like, your cycle? idol TV shows kind of thing. So, um, yeah. See, like, and, uh -huh. the, the only group that start like, all the idol groups I got into uh, were already established by the time I got into them. So really, like, the only idol group that started from the beginning me following them is Keiaki Zaka. But then it's the same with like third gen Nogizaka, right? Mm. Uh, I saw their like audition process and like mm. them being new. And now that they're pretty popular within the group, it's kind of like, oh man, that's, that's my girls. Mm -hmm. I feel, yeah, you feel like the mama bird now, right? Because you're like, <laughs> I've watched them blossom. I, I wonder if since since this person since Raidan Zop is like new with the fortunes, do you think they recognize the fortunes and like could recognize them like as much as they could with a couple second gens or something like that? I think it's still like whoever's popular mm. is like because that's who's going to get the most screen time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're going to recognize whoever gets the most screen. In my opinion, right? Like because at least that's how I it was for me, especially with like the other group <coughs> show, right? Because, like, I remember mm -hmm. I'd watch it and then, like, you know, like, like months or years later, I'll, like, remember, like, a funny episode or something like that. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go look for this and I'll rewatch it. And I'm like, oh, shit, look at all these other members who I know now but oh, weren't yeah. big enough for me to know at the time. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, I, I see what you mean there. Mm -hmm. I get you, man. I get you. Yeah. 
Like, what, like recently, I went like uh, I went back and rewatched like the uh, what's that show? Um, the Baka Quiz shows. Uh, oh. Like for uh, what's that show? Mech- um, Mechaika. Mechaika. Yeah, Mechaika. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, damn, dude. There's like. <laughs> I didn't even realize Yamamoto Sayaka was in that shit, dude. Because <laughs> I didn't know any NMB girls at the time, you know. And even though she was like the most popular one, you know, it feels weird mm-hmm. for me to not know who she is now, right? But then mm-hmm. right, when I right. first watched, it, I was like, Ali know she know that Mariko and Takamina <laughs> and mm-hmm. Oshima Yuko. Mm-hmm. So, All right. But that's the other group. My bad. I went on too long on that. <laughs> too bad, Machike is done so we'll mm-hmm. never I know, get dude. no gizaka bakajo test oh, they, they do that do all the time own, anyway yeah, on, on a nogi so. nogi chu so mm-hmm. we got to learn that like reno's dumber than watamaya dude <laughs> which is like <laughs> pretty hard to do well that's how it is mm-hmm. so thank you right on zope for the comments if thank you want to be featured in the next episode <laughs> please leave your comments down can below can i Jimmy, you could enter too. Mm, no, that's okay. I'm too. I'm too lazy to leave comments. <laughs> don't, don't give other people ideas, Jimmy. Oh, I'm looking forward to commenting. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, that better. Um, so let's uh, let's continue to everyone's a favorite section of the show. You know, it's the part where we uh, we we pay the pay the bills around here. As we all know, Josh, boy, and I all live together. We gotta pay rent somehow. Hmm. Um, you know, a three bedroom house isn't cheap. So uh-huh. we got the shilling corner. What what do right. we have in store today, boys? Seems like Yoda Yuki of Nogizaka forty six fame is in a commercial. Mm-hmm. Not sure what it's for, but This is for a newspaper? A newspaper. So we got like a meeting at a company and they're like chief. Something concerning. This ain't it. And they're like, uh, what? 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 And then the chief is like, I must speak to Yoda Yuki or some shit like that. And he has, I don't know. I don't even know what the, oh, damn. He just got tossed. (laughs) I just got there too. (laughs) So he like rushes Yoda Yuki's line at the handshake event. And he has, I don't know what this is for. What the hell? It's a newspaper. Something about a newspaper. Something about a newspaper. And then, and then, like, the employees at the company, are like, oh my god, <laughs> look at this nerd. What is this? I have no idea, guys. I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, I just saw it in the thing. I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> here's here's, here's here. a quick. Who dis- put this here? I put this a here, but I don't know what it's disclaimer. about. Disclaimer. So, this is newspaper advertising. I was a, uh, I was like away for the weekend. And so I did Boy's not. Boy's washing his hands of the episode already. <laughs> I didn't. I did not pay attention to anything Sakamichi series related for the past like five days, aside from Watanabe Risa's photo book. Mm. So I don't know anything in this episode right now. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's important that you know when uh, we're busy in a way that we we have access to news so we can stay up to date with things. So. Um, you know, that's why we're so glad for, uh, uh mm, newspapers, newspapers. <laughs> Let's move on. Yomiuri <laughs> Shinbun. Thank you, chat. That's oh. what it's for. All right. Let's go back to a classic sponsor. Someone's been, who, who's been supporting us for quite some time now. We got another Nogizaka Cup Star commercial. Mm-hmm. Oh, fun times. Uh, with, uh, Sapporo Ichiban. Um, it was more was, like a promo, right? Or yeah, who was also a, 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 a supporter and sponsor of my event. Um, oh, oh yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. We didn't get any Nogi Zaka Cup stars though, unfortunately. <laughs> but what can you do? Um, but yeah, we got a little promo with a uh, Ikuta er- Eric. Uh huh. Um, it's kind of like a straightforward little video. She's got like. What is it? The different cup star flavors, and she's going through the, like the little chibi versions of everyone and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And she tries it. She's like, "Oh, simple but good." Mm-hmm. Just yeah. like this Sapporo Ichiban, you can always count on for like a reliable and a hearty flavor and meal. Mm-hmm. There's yes. one back there somewhere. That's right here. 
Okay. Yeah, so she's tasting that stuff. These different flavors. They've been pushing out different flavors the mm-hmm. whole campaign. And apparently there's like, I don't know if it's every single one or if it's just a couple ones where you open it up and it has like a printed signature of a member. Um, I've seen Inchan who's been on the on the show before. Uh, she tweeted out a couple of ones that she got. Look so I thought that. it was pretty cool. Yeah, for this one, she tried the salt or shoyu. I don't fucking know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> more ramen. So if you're into that, go buy some. There's like mm-hmm. the animated versions Ooh, baby. and stuff of them. Wait, Jamie, were those ramen that you had at your convention, were they free? They were free. Oh, boy, we should have gotten some. I didn't know. Uh, we we so kind of walked by and then uh, made a couple comments and walked away. It's, uh, they're pretty good, actually. So it's like uh, Chef Morimoto's restaurant, right? Um, he has, it's like an instant ramen version of the. Boy, who, who is Chef Morimoto? He's an iron yeah, I, chef. Dude. Okay, there we go. Come on, Mr. I didn't, I didn't like the first Morimoto time is? I saw the packaging, I was like, who the hell is this? But then I looked closer <laughs> and I was like, oh, my bad, uh, fam. Oh, That's man. Iron Chef. More yeah, dude, he did a little time. video with uh, binging with Babish, dude. Yeah, she just came out today. But um, yeah, that's like a, a tonkotsu flavor. That one's pretty good. Um, I, I I didn't I never quite did this, but uh, maybe I'll get a pack myself and do it. But if you just go to like any Japanese market and get some chashu pork, slice that up, throw an egg in that bitch, mm, and it's a uh, it's a pretty good meal right there. There we go. I'm on keto again, so I can enjoy that. Mm. Mr. Box, it's okay. I will enjoy it for you. Please. Um, I'm vegetarian now. Oh, no, all, all that, all that Wait, Texas what? meat, dude. The last, <laughs> like, the the last like two <laughs> weeks, I've eaten like so much meat that I just like, don't look at me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, here's something that you and I can enjoy then, boy. Got some uh, Fantazaka Gakuen, dude. Oh my god, what is um, this? So we got a new uh, campaign, I guess, f- collaboration with Nogizaka and Fanta. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't Different. know. So That's far, they got brand. like, a, yeah, they have a, a, an Instagram. You can find it on Instagram.com slash Fantazaka Gaku underscore Gakuen. They're <laughs> counting it down, guys, mm-hmm. for this campaign. Yeah, Starting from eight days away with Ash, seven days away with. Ikuda. So, mm-hmm. like, the bottles... <laughs> Excuse me. So, the bottles have, like, eyes on them or whatever that you can use as eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, different flavors. The Ikuta one looks like orange. Oh, well, I love orange soda. Mm-hmm. So, I guess, guess the, I do. the campaign will fully launch in a week mm-hmm. from this podcast. So, Ooh. so look forward to it next week. I like the. Uh, no, it's gonna be like one day away next week. I like the main. Uh, it kind of shows everyone. Well, like the campaign looks like it has Ozono, yeah, yeah. Asuka, <laughs> Ikta, mm-hmm. Akimoto, Anatsu, uh, Yoda, uh, Yoda Yuki, <laughs> I like Yamashita, Mizuki. <laughs> I like Yoda's mask. The crying one looks like yeah. the Araki's <laughs> drawings. Mm. Mm. Are these connected to like mangaka somehow? I Maybe. Know. I don't know. If you look at Yoda's bottle, it looks like, you know, Jojo or like Fist of the North Star or something. I don't know. Anyway, you can follow all this fun stuff. Get up to date with Fanta. I don't know if Fanta had a banana flavored soda. Well, that's Japan for you. <laughs> They probably mm-hmm. have whatever flavored soda. Dude, they it's had clear Coke. Yeah, have you guys had uh, peach Coke? Ooh, how's I that? haven't yet. So there's like, okay, so there's like a Japanese one where it's like white peach fl- Coke. And then there's also a Georgia peach Coke. And they okay. both taste the same. <laughs> but the taste, you ever get like cola flavored Slurpee? Uh huh. Yeah. And then you have all that shit melt, and you just have the syrup water uh-huh. at the bottom. That's what it tastes like. Uh, that's syrup water? 
Yeah, weirdly enough. But it's like, I don't know. I kind of like it in a weird way because it's like super Is it like people who like gasoline me. and people who don't? Well, no, it's just like, because I, I, I can at least recognize it's like not the best flavor. It's just that like, it's good in the sense that like, man, this really brings me back to like being a kid <laughs> and walking to 7-Elevens during the summer and getting like a, a Slurpee. Anyways, uh, but, so that's Fanta. Speaking of 7-Eleven though, oh. we have a new 7-Eleven commercial. Look at that. Um, this is the Taiwan campaign. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, Asuka, Kubo, and Hori. Hori. Mm. Why can't Nogizaka make ads for here? Because we are not the market, Josh mm. Box. We can, interesting we can become noodle the market. things. Yeah, yeah. Where so they like, it looks like a cucumber. Oh, it looks it's, it's like, like some, I don't know, some, yeah, it's like a noodle dish with like, okay, I'm mean, guessing it's like a cold noodle dish, it looks like to me, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, it's got like cold yellow noodle. egg, what looks like ham, mm-hmm. and, and cucumbers. then uh, cucumbers, you know, so what corresponding the with the colors of their dresses, it's a cute idea, you know, they have them laying on the beach, which is analogous to the noodles, mm-hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Oh, they look cute in it. That's that's all I have to say. <laughs> Looks good. I'll try it because yeah. Nogizaka's attached, and I'm mm-hmm. a fan. I'm a sucker. Plus, it's been getting hot lately, you know. So like, some it cold has. noodles would be nice. Because there are like there are times that I'm craving ramen, but the heat, mm-hmm. like when it's hot, I'm just like, ugh, ugh. That's still why you get anyway. cold still noodles. Anyways. But yeah, now you get cold noodles from seven. Mm-hmm. And there's even like printouts of them, like in front of the 7 Elevens. Yep. So, like, is this only in the, the ones in Taiwan? Looks like I from think the, so. the, the characters. I think that's where the ad is, so probably. Yeah. They've been doing ads for Taiwanese 7 Eleven for a while now. Mm hmm. Everyone. So. The first one was like in English, right? Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't their language, right? Wait, what yeah, was they, it in? They did. A version. That would be that would be a, Taiwanese. They yes. sang some song in Chinese. I don't know. I don't remember. It was, it was a while uh, ago. Th- I'm thinking of a different English one. That was a different commercial. I think. You're thinking. Yeah. I'm thinking something totally different. Anyway, the Seven Elevens over here, not nearly as good as Asian Seven no. Elevens. <laughs> no. So. Dude, okay, it's uh, okay. I'll wager this: the Seven Elevens <coughs> here just fucking suck. <laughs> like, I feel like the rest of the world is laughing go. at us. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like, I used to think that, like, oh, it's just 7-Elevens in Japan. That's really good, right? No, I think everywhere else is better than here. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, um, American 7-Elevens, step your game up. But let's, uh, yeah. let's, let's go into some current events. How about that? Yes. <laughs> let's. So, um, as you guys know, we, we talked about it a little while back, but uh, it was... Nogi Zaka or ooh, Kiaki Zaka's <coughs> third birthday live. It's Indeed. already been three years, my guys. Can you can you believe it? Ugh, gross. <laughs> so this is uh, so there was uh, the Osaka Festival Hall concert, right? Uh, the the Tokyo one will be later next month. Uh, next month, yeah. Um, but uh, we got it. We got a couple reports on it uh, circulating around on Twitter. Some set lists and things like that. <laughs> Overall, it looks like there are a lot of VTRs and MCs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Shout probably, out to uh, underscore Sunset Rider. Yeah. It's yeah, it like, made it real easy for us. It's in English. So. Was in a, <laughs> went oh, to the show. Good. Did a little write up for the set list. Not sure which day, but nice. Um, I'd guess they were all. Like the, pretty you know, similar, pretty, right? yeah. pretty similar set list. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, they, um, they did some, yeah, you know, pretty straightforward um, set list, I guess. A yeah, lot of VTRs, yeah, so, though. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, so we're just going over the songs. It's Overture, Silent Majority, Sekai Ai, Futori Saison, then Ongaku Shitsuni Kato Moe, Okutachi no Senso, Shibuya Gawa, Nobody. Um, let's see. Oh, Keep moving. Uh, Teo Tsunade Kairoka, Seifuku Totayo, 
Uh, see, if you guys are wondering why it's taking me so long to get through it, it's because there's so many VTRs <laughs> I'm like skimming through. Oh, actually, this, this user went to the live viewing, not the actual oh, show. Okay. There's a picture of it from, from yeah. the seat. But Tokyo uh, Tower wa doko kara mieru? Mieru? Kikyoku janeishika inai? And so on and so Christmas. Yeah, he almost got a. We're almost there. 100 nen. 100 nen mateba. <laughs> Ambivalent. Um. Was it Kazi Nifukari the most synchronicity? And then I think uh, after the Abunaka. Abunaki. That was yeah. the end of the regular set list. Yeah. Um, and then I think w, they're still doing double Keiaki Zaka no Uta as a encore. Um, that, yeah. That, I mean, that can just still work as Keiaki Zaka song. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. What, what's the double for now? Oh, think, exactly. You could just. Hmm. Kiaki Zaka no Uta, just like Nogi Zaka yeah. no Uta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what got a lot of uh, talk was their synchronicity cover. Mm. Um, so they, they, yeah, they had their own choreography. Yeah, they stuff, didn't right? do the original choreography and they changed it. To, and I think some people liked it and some people didn't like it because it was like not representative of the original song. Hashtag not my synchronicity. Because, um, you know, synchronicity <laughs> is like, you know, like elegant and stuff like that, right? Which is completely not what Kiyakizaka is. Mm-hmm. They're kind of, you know, harsh and like rough and shit like that, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I didn't, there's no video that I know of. Um, but Just it's. have to wait. From the tweets that I've seen, it's pretty. Uh, yeah. Kiyakizaka, you know, like Takahiro Sensei. I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw people talking about it, and I was like, I have no idea what they're talking about. I was like, yeah. looking all he over. He took I was some like, liberties yeah. with it, I guess. I'm like really curious to see it, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I can, from not being able to see it, I can see why people might be upset just based on like, I don't know, like if they made it very Kiyakizaka, and then you had expectations for synchronicity, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, I'm also like, I mean, it's, just, I mean, just, I just it, doesn't, wanna, it doesn't negate your, yeah. like, the other synchronicity, right? I want to see their interpretation. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Yeah. Maybe they, a lot get more. They're doing their version. Right? Yeah, I'm always down for nah. different, right? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like, at the very least, the original still exists. So if it sucks, then I'll be like, all right, well. I prefer the original. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah, yeah. Just like, you know, how covers usually are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, baby. Mm-hmm. Right. Until you get until you get Weezer's Africa Toto, dude. Oh, oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Oof. But uh, <laughs> they have a special site for that stuff. Mm-hmm. You can I don't know. Look, look at it. Info. What is this thing where it says someone from the U.S. I don't know. I the heard VTR, also. Like the first VTR. There's like a VTR from international fans, like messages of support and whatnot. We did not get contacted for this. I don't know. See, like, I what? don't know anything that happened because I've been away. <laughs> Why did we not get contacted for this? Uh, hmm. Looks like you guys just have to share the podcast even more. <laughs> yeah, guys. Go comment, like, subscribe, and follow. Comment, like, subscribe, things. share, follow. Unless hit that's the bell. precisely why no one hit us up, dude. Like, uh, they're like, oh, if we ask them for help, they're just going to ask for people to subscribe during the video, dude. <laughs> okay, so the website has like these fake ass Instagram story things um, that you can view. Yeah, you can scroll yeah. through, but it's just, it's fake Instagram stories. Oh, oh. Like, might as just give them real Instagrams. <laughs> you know, like the hashtag, like. Yeah. They could have just and made I, hash like a real Nogi, hash, I mean, not yeah, Nogi, yeah, yeah. Kiaki third anniversary like account, right? Account yeah. and stuff. Yeah. What if there was one that had a fake swipe up? <laughs> right? Like, come on now. But you can, you know, go click through it. This is so much effort for a farce, dude. <laughs> I mean, they, they even have like hashtag the name and like mm-hmm. location shit. Yeah, it's all like it's like the little circles at the bottom and shit, you know. Why just can't like they just make an official Instagram? That's like they did it. for Twitter. Damn it! <sighs> so what I am really enjoying is like how much uh, second gen 
and first gen inter like mixing there is. Mm, uh, yep. That's that's why I would be excited to see you for them this live and stuff like that, right? Like just yeah. based on like what I'm seeing from uh, these uh, not Instagram stories, dude. Mm-hmm. Right. right, we have like Mor- Moria and Seki, mm. or like you know, there's uh, there's one of the the captains with uh, Ten Chan and Seki. Have some Ozeki and Tamura. So, yeah, they're nice. Yeah, like to. Yeah, we'll definitely want to see them <laughs> on stage with first gen. Mm-hmm. I did see a picture of a uh, silent majority. <coughs> uh, the outfits, but they were doing Sekai Eye, and it mm. looked like what's her name, um, Fujiyoshi Karin took Imaizumi's position. Oh, oh yeah, she got her like outfit and something like that, right? That's right. The the one that's to the left of Risa, or to Le- Risa's left, that's Imaizumi's position, right? I, I think don't so. Know. It's been a while. Filthy casual over here. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't remember people's positions, dude. I barely remember people's names. <laughs> See, so uh, congratulations on your third anniversary. Happy birthday, Kegizaka 46. <laughs> Another party in Tokyo comes in three weeks' time, or a month's time. So. Yo, can you believe it's already been three years? No, no, I can't. It's it's gross. Ugh. What happened? <laughs> it's gross. What happened to all I feel, the time? I feel like it was just yesterday we were crying about Futari Saison and like things were still pure and like all positive. And oh, then yeah. now we're just bitter, angry old men. <laughs> it's all gone to shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nah, we still like him. It's just like, what the fuck happened? What happened to time, dude? There's a mm. second gen now. <laughs> you mean... You're talking about hiragana, right? No. <laughs> Wait, what? What's what's a Hinata Zaka? Oh God! Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But, well, we'll get My to God. Hinata Zaka's little history later. But uh, let's move on. Move along here. We've got a trailer now for Video Girl Mai. We we showed some uh, what is it promotional pictures from that not too long ago. Um, this is going to be this kind of follow up sequel featuring Yamashita knows what she's doing, Mizuki. Mizuki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Yeah, dude. Got a. Yeah, so we got the little trailer. Um, it's a uh, it's a little spooky to me, how good she looks in this. Like, not so much like, okay, she's pretty, but like she looks like a manga <laughs> character in real life. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I feel like they're gonna around, put it in there. They're gonna push the. Lewdness the a little sexual tension. The more risque because I think her mm. like her character is a little more like like yeah, the actual yeah. purpose of one of a yeah. video girl. Yeah. yeah. Right. Whereas the Nishirana say one, the original character is kind of more like a broken video girl. Broken. Mm. She's more like the girl next door ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Though more <laughs> importantly, Takeda Rena though. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get like one second of her in a classroom I'm just like mm. Mm. look how short her hair looks dude skinny queen <laughs> <laughs> look at they they couldn't find a shirt small enough to fit that thin neck, dude. child small <laughs> um, but yeah there's trailers you know should be interesting yeah interesting pick to have a third gym member pick on like take on a more risque kind of character mm-hmm. right. uh, I mean I've, but she knows what she's doing Mizuki's kind of fit into that role fairly well yeah. you mean not Yoda no. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you mean you want to, want to see Yoda in this uh, you keep your, your disgusting <laughs> taste to yourself Mr. Box what uh, that's not my taste that's whoever made that decision taste taste <laughs> Uh, Mizuki no, has been they, chosen they Mizuki, dude. as the actress. Mm. Yeah, like Hori is the second gen actress, right? First mm-hmm. gen, anyone can be an actress. They're whoever, you know. Yeah. But third gen is. I mean, we have Kuba and Umezawa who are always in stage plays. Yeah. But it's, it's different, you know. Stage acting, acting and yeah, like yeah, screen different. acting is completely different, you know. There's yeah. nuances in like, screen acting. Yeah, that, you want to be. Subtle, 
subtle. realistic. Mm-hmm. But then mm-hmm. stage acting is like, if you try to be subtle, no one's going to see that shit from an audience, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like, you, didn't, you didn't see his eyebrows? No, I can barely see his face with the lights, dude. Yeah. That's why everything's like, oh, did you, what did mm-hmm. you say? You know? Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. That's why huge Jack man is so good. Mm. Oh, because he, he can do it all, dude. Holy do you know who else both. can do it all? Both on stage and on screen. Ikuda Erika. Oh, dude. oh, there we go. My God. <laughs> Ikuda Chan. What happened? <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, like she's always been great, right? But then, like, the past couple of years, she just really took off. Mm-hmm. Right, she's so, found her um, thing with stage plays. Yeah, yeah. She won an award. for uh, This is for her role in Mozart, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So they, they've never done the show in America. So I, uh, I have no idea what it's about. I'm guessing it's about Mozart. <laughs> yeah. But I can't tell you anything about it. Yeah. So the is the 2018 uh, award, right? For for performances in 2018, mm-hmm. right? <coughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of like the Oscars, right? Movies from last year. But uh, yeah, she's been in many, many plays now. Many, huh? And it's not like you know. Japanese butai, like no, these it's are just like, like original or but the, yeah, these are like Broadway, Broadway right? uh, titles and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's she's cool. Got a new one, Natasha. The what is it? Not Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812. Yeah, I think we uh, right. talked about that a long time ago mm-hmm. when it was announced. Oh yeah. Um, that was a while ago. Yeah, it was back in January, I think. But um, yeah, yeah, you just mentioned in that little article too. But yeah, she's she's been doing quite a bit. Um, I don't know. I kind of wish that she would do. Well, this is not her, but like Japan would do more um, American musicals, so I can know <laughs> know them. Yeah. You know? Like I think the the only one that she's been in that I kind of really knew like the music from was uh, Les Mis, but that's kind of like hmm. everyone yeah, does Les Mis. Les Mis. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <coughs> but yeah, good good for her. Good job, Ik Chan. Um, and more Nogizaka stage play news. We got the Sayu Ranger herself. Oh, yes. Um, it's gonna be in a in a musical, Little Women. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Little Women. What is uh, what is this about? I think we've talked about this before a while ago. Uh, I think there's a. I'm not sure if they're all the same, but there's definitely a, there's a musical, there's a television, like a, like a movie, and there's a book. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the musical is based on the book. Sorry, I had to look it up. Um, okay, yeah. so yeah, uh, it is know. a novel, mm-hmm. right? I don't know if this is the, the right one. No, it seems like it is. Mm-hmm. It is uh, about four sisters. Well, in the novel, four sisters in a details world. their passage from childhood to womanhood. Loosely based. On the author herself. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Wait, there's a is there an anime? Sorry, I, I no, I'm I'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole. So, <laughs> Cyan is one of the four sisters, obviously. So she actually plays the mom. <laughs> no, man, I just said no. she's one of the four <laughs> sisters. <laughs> Not quite Shiraishi my mommy level is yet, dude. Um, so this was a Broadway musical, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not a musical follower, a follower, yeah, so I, I don't know really. like any of this shit, dude. I've I've never seen Little Women, so I'm just glad Cyan Yan's getting work because mm-hmm. I like Cyan Yan. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that Tomisa also one? Mm-hmm. Look at that. No, Etomisa's uh, not in the cast, dude. 
No, but she's in something else that we didn't talk about. Oh, okay. But we don't know enough about stage plays to cover it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's. I mean, like, idols do a lot of stage plays. Yeah. Because they're like short runs, right? <laughs> Compared to the ones in America, they're probably easier to like for them to cast. Yeah, plus stage yeah. stage plays can like be triple cast, you know, like. Hmm. So. Well, and that's the thing about like Japan being a smaller country than America. Like people would be much more willing to travel to Tokyo from right. different places to like Small. see a stage play, right? Whereas, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, would you be willing to to go to New York to see a stage to see, play? To see yeah. Sailor Moon with yeah, uh, yeah. the next other group member? Yeah, exactly. You'd be like, eh, nah, I'm good, dude. You know, so I think that's probably why, like, Makes they have sense. like a much stronger stage play, like, uh, what is it, scene than in America, right? Where we just mm-hmm. watch movies. Yeah. Like mass distribution. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But uh, we're not done. We can have stage plays. Ugh. We're not done with stage plays. <laughs> Jimmy just uh, last bit of news. Uh, we got uh, some Nogizaka uh, 46 Sanin no Principal <laughs> news. This is uh, the show that they always do, right? Where they kind of like rotate the, like who's playing who, mm-hmm. things like that. Uh, but now the new production is starting featuring uh, Yonki Se. Yep. So, so I never yeah. learned what this was. But... Um, <laughs> Like the the stage play itself is them doing like various like things, right? It's not an actual play. Mm-hmm. Like they'll act some, but like they'll well, like there's like little. I know there's like little skills, roles like and shit like that, shit. right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a way for like them to sh- kind of like show their stage acting skills, I guess, mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. when like an actual stage play is available right like they can be casted later yeah, on kind yeah. of thing it's, it's kind of an audition it's not like an really opportunity, yeah. right? like a more of like a chance for them to show their chops mm-hmm. yeah um who knows so who like knows? there's Starting. there's like crowd participation and whatnot yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's, there's like a description here on the website yeah no i think it's like your the fans vote for who plays who for each or who plays what role I won't say who because it's not really characters, but mm-hmm. roles. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of interesting. Night. I like how they have their handwritten profiles, uh, names in the on the bottom there. <laughs> Look at their handwriting. Look at their handwriting. Kakehashi uh, is cool. Look at Sayaka's. Yeah. I say who has who has like the worst handwriting. I think they're all fairly okay. Yeah, true. Yeah. Who who writes like kid? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm like trying to look for. Like, who who's got like the characters all like random sized and shit, dude? Oh, maybe like maybe Kanigawa, either... Kanigawa a little. Yeah, bit. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. she's got like Jibun, Kai uh, Kai I actually Shimata? like that. Where like the hiragana is smaller than the kanji. I don't mm-hmm. know why. I, I think it, I think it's like a little bit more youthful and trendy, right? Than like the very academic. Everything needs to be the same size. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, but anyways, um, anyway, Eagles is kind of sloping off. <laughs> it's gonna be from uh, the ninth, which is today or yesterday, whatever. Yeah, uh-huh. to the fourteenth. So it's oh twenty first rather. Yeah. So I got I gotta get going, guys. We have, uh, we have another show. It's tonight, a two week so. run. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, why aren't you on the profile? Because oh, he's what? again, they keep messing there. this up, dude. How do they keep on messing this up? I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, put me. That's the end of stage for, play. Tired of this treatment. <laughs> for this main picture, did they make you like stand a little bit more to the left and then like f- <laughs> accidentally cropped you up? Yeah, exactly. You know, they're like the guy was like, "Hey, you know what? It would really help for the balance if you just stepped a couple more steps that way. Keep going, uh-huh. keep going, uh-huh. keep going. <laughs> Click, you know." But oh, anyways. you're just standing behind a member and they covered you. <laughs> I hate this joke. <laughs> uh, don't you see? I'm the tree. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, um, that that's that's it for the news. Um, that is it for the it's news. It's kind of like a short news week, but nothing that's not happened, the end of really. the show. Yeah, yeah, nothing happened. Yeah, 
Except for third birthday live, but we can't I mean, like, see it. So second it's not like we can really cover it, you know. Announce big things at their concerts. So it's mm-hmm. not the other group. Yeah, we're just like, hey, we're gonna retire an entire generation. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, oh crap! Uh, we'll, we'll shuffle then. <laughs> yeah, no such Anyways. thing happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're not done with the show yet. Nope. No. It's time for the. <laughs> TV show roundup. This is the part of the show where we go through and uh, recap all the shows uh, that feature Sakamichi series, at least the regular shows. Sometimes they feature little bonus shows and things like that, guest appearances and whatnot. Uh, normally, Boy would wa- be the one to watch them, but hey, he's uh, he's been on a well-deserved vacation and he's sick, so if there was any, we missed it. Sorry. I don't think there was, though. Um, but uh, so the three regular shows would be Hinata Zaka, the Aima Show. Ooh, that's that's, that's gonna that. take me a while to get used to. <laughs> um, Kekite Kakinai and uh, Nogi Zaka Kojichu. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll start off with the the new one, I guess. New episode uh, one, yeah, we got episode one, dude. A brand <laughs> new, brand spanking new show <coughs> featuring uh, Hinata Zaka 46. Um, let's meet at Hinata Zaka. Uh-huh. What happened this yeah. week? I don't know. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Ooh, baby. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they start the show and then, uh, I, I forget what, what, uh, Casca says to start it, but it's just, everyone, everyone's like, no, that's, that's not how we start the show, dude. Let's, let's do this shit over. Um, yeah, he's like, yeah, guys, we got a, a new title. It's Hinata Zaka, the I am a show. And then they're like, oh, <laughs> like what? Uh, yeah, the reaction was so like not what I was expecting. I guess not what Audrey was expecting either. Like, they, you mm. know, they'll be like, oh, what? Oh, that's so sick. They're just like, oh, I oh. guess that makes sense, right? <laughs> we're Hinata Zaka now. Yeah, I guess we're meeting here. <laughs> See, looking back. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a brand new set, you know, uh, a bunch of Hinata Zaka imagery everywhere. Mm-hmm. And there's like a sun and it's like radiating. And someone's like, oh, it looks like the Wi Fi symbol. Oh, yeah. Wi-Fi. She's like, don't be fucking stupid. All right. <laughs> it's like, this, shit, this set costs a lot of money. It's very expensive. So uh, make sure you guys work hard. We can't give this shit back. So <laughs> gotta, gotta gotta get some ratings here. Um, but there, this week's episode, uh, I'm going to be honest. I just kind of skimmed through it. It's a lot. It's a very talk heavy. Very episode. talk heavy. Um, Was it like a uh, recap episode in anime? Exactly. Oh. dude. It's like I'm binging this. I didn't have to wait a season. I know what happened last episode, <laughs> but um, that's pretty what much what this is. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's a recap episode. It's basically uh-huh. looking back at the history of Everything from Hiragana Kiyaki to Hinata Zaka. Ooh, 46. all the way from Neru Nagahama? Mm-hmm. Exactly, since, actually. Since, exactly, since then. Yeah, so they they, uh, they start off, like, uh, the, the chapter with, like, fucking, it was, like, 2015, Ooh. September 2015. It was, like, I, I, for whatever reason, I keep thinking Kiyaki Zaka started 2016, but that's when they debuted, right? Mm. So, so yeah, majority so was 2016, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but as far as like them as a group, though, they, they you know, they were announced way sooner. Mm. So, um, yeah, so it, it cuts all the way back to the first, um, what is it like episode of Keikake with Hira, uh, with Nagahama Neru in it, mm-hmm. and then like, oh yeah, so she joined the group. Now we gotta audition more girls in. Aren't you aren't you excited? And everyone, all the old school like you know first gen K members, are like, oh what the fuck. Um, <laughs> We just yeah, yeah, started. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it's so funny because it kind of parallels the other group. Uh, well, not the other group, but uh, Hiragana itself. Oh, right. Where like um, oh, they yeah. show a little bit later on, but they're like when when they announced during a concert like uh, event that they were going to audition more girls in, and all the girls like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like just Sasaki just... Kumi's talking about it. She's like, yeah, dude. We're like, yo, we just uh, we just started. You know, like we like our activities and stuff like that. Just well, how does that feel? Yeah, Kumi? that's all I was thinking about. You know, I was like, yeah, Kumi, sound familiar to you, huh? <laughs> but um, so they 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 split it up into chapters, right? Uh, with like yeah, so the first chapter being 
everything from that uh, from Nagahama Neru up until uh, the second gen members uh, joining the group, mm-hmm. and then uh, the rest of the show is just kind of going through like asking the girls like, "Hey, uh, what would you like to to add into uh, the history that we left out or whatever?" Right. Mm. And then Nibu had some really dumb story <laughs> oh, yeah. about like, oh yeah, I, I like hurt myself. Mm. Like I got and then my 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 my, my knee chan had to help me and shit like that. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> and she was like, Oh, we, we, you know, you're asking for like like old stories and stuff. They're like, okay, look at chapter one. <laughs> when does that start? She's like, uh, 2015? Okay, when is this story from? <laughs> Like 2004? <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, Hirag- like this is uh, Hinata Zaka's history, not Chan Nibu's <laughs> history. All right. Um, let's see. What else What else they go into? Um, Talk about socks for some reason. Oh, I don't I don't remember. I, like I said, I was, I was kind of skimming. Then. Someone had a hot dog sock or something like that. Well, there you go. Um, it's rich yeah, history to- of Hinata Zaka. <laughs> then, you know, it, it, it's, it's not a bad watch. It's just a very talk-heavy one. And uh, mm-hmm. I just kind of wasn't that in the mood for such an episode. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I had just watched the other two episodes before this. So it was a lot more action-packed. Not mm-hmm. really the first one. No, but like Koji Chu was much more action-packed, you know? like Yeah. At least more stuff going on. You just came from that high that like all this talking. Yeah. Just kinda, like- See, I'd, usually I'd watch... In order, so I do like Hinata show and then mm. Hiyakake and then Nogichi. Mm. So you get the order of like the oldest one goes last. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, so you can build up the anticipation, right? Yeah. I mean, it like, doesn't okay, always work I, if, that way. But. If I make it through this, then I get Nogi. I get Kojichu. Yeah, uh, my favorite like, group is at the end. I gotta make it there. Uh. And then it's like, hey, we're just going to talk this episode. You're like, fuck. <laughs> um, That's, yeah, sometimes see. I, I think like the highlight of this episode for me was uh, they talk about like uh, the Muri Yari event or whatever that they did where it was just like uh, they had to do like a bunch of like they're, like they're like their talent show event or oh, whatever, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so it was like they just had to do a bunch of like crazy shit or whatever. Um, like uh, – Someone I can't remember who does what, but you know Higashimura does her rifle thing. Um, Mire like double Dutch. Mm-hmm. Kumi does some ballet and like all the shit like that, right? And then they're like talking about how goofy they all looked because they were like they were like super try hard back then and shit, you know? Like uh, fucking Tomita's like, yeah, dude, I was actually in the audience back then. They're like, yo, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, you like I was just remember thinking like, man, look, look at look at how like much effort they put into stuff and like what they're willing to do and shit dude not like now and they're like oh what <laughs> so they make them they make them like re- like reenact that shit on st- in like in the studio but mm-hmm. they look goofy as hell because they don't have like the props and shit like that mm-hmm. like I, th- I can't remember who but like Just someone like- holds like yeah, like, somebody, feels- exactly. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, like someone, like someone's holding a, a fucking uh, unicycle up and shit right. like that. Ushio, right? So she's just yeah, yeah. It was Ushio, so she's just like. <laughs> I'm holding it. <laughs> yeah, and then um, which is funny because we mentioned like when they announced that they're auditioning second gens, right? And then Tomito was like, "Yeah, yeah, I was in the audience for that." And I remember seeing their face. And then like, I was like, "Yo, what the fuck? You're in the audience for like everything, dude." Like, she's a fan, dude. She's, she's, yeah, mm-hmm. she's like, "You're the you're like the top Ohisama, dude." She's like, "Oh no, actually, those two were the, the same event, dude." I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what an <laughs> event to have been in, dude. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um. I'm guessing next week's gonna be some more of that. Uh, maybe we can go into chapter two. Gotta catch up. Yeah, up to like probably like third gen. Yeah, yeah. Or up to Hinatsuzaka. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. It's like when 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 AKB did like their uh like history episode of of Akubi, right? On on, on AK Bing or whatever for episode their episode one. Mm-hmm. They had been around as a group for like four or five years at that point, right? Mm-hmm. So it was like there's an actual history and shit like that. This is just like I was just here for this. I don't know. <laughs> this dude. happened two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. 
So I don't. I, I I get it. Like maybe if people are just jumping onto the the ship now, it might be yeah. more interesting. I guess it makes sense since yeah. they're like a new name now. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but for us like old fogies who've been around since like the beginning. It just feels like, yeah, you're like <laughs> watching an, an, an anime, you're, like you're binge yeah. watching it, and then you get to the recap, you're like, I know it's what like, happens. Yeah, it's like season two, but first, <laughs> recap of season for, one. Like For me, it was all the talk segments in between. I was just like, okay, yeah. time to go through this. Yeah. Like, I'm okay with the recap stuff, but like, and then talking about like little, little stories, I'm like... Oh, Most see, of the time, I think, it I think was those like are the fun. opposite for me, dude, because I was like, at least this is new. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel you like, like you gotta talk? be in the mood to watch those kind of episodes. Um, yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. Even as a a fan, I guess it's like, mm-hmm. oh, I gotta pay attention. Mm-hmm. We gotta make it interesting, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, moving on to something, what I thought was gonna be interesting. Kiakite uh, Kakenai. This is uh, their older sister's show, Kiaki Zaka Forty Six. Um, so the premise is like, let's get to know the second gen members better. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hell yeah, dude. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I want to get to know second gen. And so they're like, all right, so how are we going to do it? Psychology test. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, this means Boy, do you know what that means? Amon Sensei. Ooh, oh, you'd be right. Because Amon Sensei shows up, which I'm... I'm going to be honest, was probably the best part of the show was him <laughs> showing up and everyone getting excited. And then after that was like, eh. Snooze fest. Uh, not, well, eh. Like, Those uh, are some interesting points. Yeah, okay. So here's my thing about these. And I've, I've come to realize this. Much more so than the analysis, I, I care more about like their actual performance, right? So for example, like you have like the first segment is like, oh, we're going to have you guys all draw a, 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 there's a woman who lives in a house by herself. So I want you to fill in the rest and draw that scene. I'm much more interested in just seeing their drawings mm-hmm. than I am in like what it means. You know what yeah, I mean? See, like, I don't care for all that stuff. Like, I don't mm-hmm. believe in that shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, Amon Sensei is cool. But it's like, oh, yes, the fact that you draw, you drew... The woman doing this means this. Like, man, I don't believe that, dude. Like, <laughs> what? You know? So I just I, like I'd, I'd, I'd rather just see them, like, like look at, like, who drew something fucking weird and make fun of it. Yeah, uh-huh. so, like, if if instead it was like, oh, yeah, look at uh, freaking Matsudaira drew her, like, like this way. And then, like, Tsuchi and Sawabe just make fun of her for that. That's yeah. much more entertaining, or it would be, I guess, than like, Amon Sensei down. explaining how... How she's dumb or whatever. Like, <laughs> you know, like know that. Oh, this, this means that she hates everyone. Like, what the fuck? How do you, you know, draw like, that conclusion? Like, so far, I think my favorite idol drawing episode was, I think it was a Nogi Doko, where they had to draw Himura. <laughs> oh, that's someone else thinking. <laughs> Dude, like, you know, and then you just like, yeah, you just look at the drawings and you make fun of the freak shows, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so good, dude. Um, they should have just and so done walks that. up to her, walks up to him, it's like, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> just draw oh, a little, see, I didn't watch this either, so. I... <laughs> oh, was Risa there? To watch. No? Okay, I don't need to. <laughs> uh, she she barely does anything if she is there. Uh, She's not. See, that's the thing. Like, Risa's not interesting enough to do this kind of shit. She just needs to bully Aoi. Aoi, come back. Oh, God. <laughs> I miss those days, dude. Though as Risa disappeared with Harada Aoi. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> do, you, do you want to recap this one, Mr. Box, or do you want to? Um, I could go over like the things that seemed interesting to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> the first thing is like, <laughs> where where do you is the girl drawn inside the house or outside the house? Mm-hmm. Most of them drew outside, right? Yeah, and then the well, I was thought- like, oh. If, you said the description was you draw a girl inside the house. No, she, she lives in a house oh, by herself. Oh, she lives in a house. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. So, some, so based on that, it's like some people drew them outside the house. Some people drew them mm-hmm. inside. You know, so it's like, oh, yeah, if you draw them like outside the house, then that means that they like want to go out into the world and be accepted by everyone. Mm-hmm. But if you drew them inside <laughs> the house, that means you're like 
close off and you want to like be mysterious and shit, mm. you know? If they're walking away from the house, you lose confidence from small things and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Why would you guys would have drawn? I would have drawn the easiest thing. Like, she's in bed or some shit like that. Like, the mm. less strokes of my pencil, the better. <laughs> someone drew, someone drew a square, a triangle, and then a circle and a stick figure. And that's all they drew. <laughs> See? Oh, the best was uh, Hob- well, I mean, I'm, I'm biased, but like Habu's drawing, like she drew like the house and shit like that, dude. And mm-hmm. then like the roof pattern is exactly oh, yeah. <laughs> the same pattern as her Date Masamune's like hair, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, damn, Habu, you fucking suck. <laughs> There's a couple of good drawers in there, like j- just from the, I don't know how long they had, but like mm-hmm. Nagasawa and like, there was a couple like second gen who drew Nagasawa-kun's really well. the artist, right? Uh-huh. She, she has a manga. Yeah, she yeah. has one. Koike, Koike was, was really good. Like, Koike's was really good too, yeah. Um, see, you know how this wasn't a good, like an effective episode? So far, all we've talked about is like the first gen members. <laughs> <laughs> and let me bring you back to the premise of the episode. It's like, get to know fourth gen members. Wait, why, why are first gen it's drawing like a- things also? It's just like, oh, you know, obviously we're, we're going to go through all the, 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 the second gen members. But... I did I say fortune? Uh, second gen. Uh, we're going to go th- uh, w- through all theirs. But, we'll, you know, if there's some funny stuff in the first gen, we'll, we'll uh, highlight those. It just means first gen knew what to draw mm-hmm. to attract mm-hmm. more screen time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to draw a horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, that like was weird. The, the weird thing over like here. Like, Pon drew, like, a girl dressed in black walking back towards the house where with her back turned towards the camera or whatever. And like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Who's this assassin? Dude? Yeah. Like, she looks like she just came back from work like, mission complete. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and you know um, what that means, boy? Based on what she drew? What? What? <laughs> what, is, what is It that means mean? that she has a hobby she's keeping a secret from the rest of the members. Puns yeah, into uh, SNM. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say she's into she's a dominatrix. <laughs> oh, we also learned that Matsu Daira and Nagasawa are very similar. I mean, I could have yeah. made that yeah. out just by watching it. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's uh, Tamura likes to spend money. Um, oh yeah, because if you okay, so if you drew like a tree. In it, you know, like I forget what the tree means, but the tree has fruit in it. That means that, like, uh, you want money or whatever, right? <laughs> uh, but Tamura's tree was Had money? like, uh, what is it, outside with fruit in it, whereas like Seki's, for example, was inside with fruit in it. So it means that Seki Yumiho just wants, uh, or Yumiko, I can't remember. Saves she, money she, instead? She wants. She thinks mo- she just wants money to come to her easily. Why would you draw Tamara, a tree inside, like an inside tree, like like an yeah, inside no, like, tree, like, like a little, like a little thing. fruit? That's no, the like, weird part. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, she's, she 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 wants she expects money just to come her way, dude. Oh, but uh, but Tamara, she has her tree outside because she knows she's gonna have to work for that shit, dude. Mm. Good it's job, like, Pono. What the fuck does any of this mean, dude? Can we move on? This is weird. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so the, the, the last segment doesn't get any less Doesn't weird. get, yeah, doesn't get, yeah. Um, so now they're like, okay, we're going to have you shoot a beam at an mm-hmm. enemy, right? So yeah. they, have, they have them do it at the camera like beforehand. Hematon beam? Stuff yeah, like, like that okay. kind of shit. And then depending on where the beam comes out, that's like, it, it, this is going to be uh, how you interact with like a partner in romance, Yes, you know? <laughs> I the same thing. I was like, "What?" <laughs> so, like, usually, you know, you would think like from the eyes, right, or like mm. a finger gun, mm. or like a, you know, kamehameha. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Pon, uh, pon does like a kamehameha. Mm-hmm. I forget, what, I forget what it means when it comes from your hands. I think like you're like the type to like I don't know, like pursue the person or some shit like that. Yeah. It's, or what the eyes? It's all fucking or what about stupid, a? Dude. Fire my laser. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. What does that mean? <laughs> if it was for the face, dick. it means something like like you want to attract the person or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So you 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 want to like the person to like come to you, right? But then like mm-hmm. so if you're gonna use your eyes, if you it comes from your eyes, that means that like 
you you you're planning on using your charm to mm. like lure the person in or whatever. All right. Um, I don't, I don't you know, know what I would, fire my what laser would you guys means like you'll like make food or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> food. See, you I, would food do, I would I would like I would do like a uh, kamehameha because you know I watch Dragon Ball and shit. Mm. So that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, Goku, man! Yeah, <laughs> that's, oh, my, that's, that's my you're, you're a very assertive lover. I see, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Damn it! Like, I'm Matsudana, on set. Mata does something weird, like weird. She like, like a pyramid. No, no she uh, pyramid she's the one who does like her whole face, dude. She's like, oh, fire, oh, yeah. my laser. Yeah, she's just like, and then like, and then she like runs up to the camera, and like, the cameraman just like, kwa, oh, yeah. kwa. yeah, kwa, kwa. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what are you like, doing? What? Get away from me! She's like, what? It's like that, that. That was it. What if they did like oh. an Ultraman thing? That's what. Uh, uh, you, that's what Yuka does. Uh, yeah. yeah. See, yeah, it's, it's probably because she. Yuka does this. She likes Ultraman. She's the horse thing? Pon does this. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's the, the Ganbiriki Gan- beam. Ganbiriki beam. Yeah. And then they're like, ah, oh, I see. Like, Pon doing the comment. Oh, she's a different generation. We're the yeah, Ultraman yeah. generation. Uh-huh. We fire this shit, dude. I don't know. It's all, it's all dumb. I mean, it's cute to see them do it. But like I said, I don't really care about the analyses. Yeah, there's some yeah. white people who shoot from the shoulders. What, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is yeah, that? Yeah, I can't remember who, who did that one. Uh, it was a uh, it was a second gen. Um, See, this would be much more interesting. The youngest one. The youngest one. Oh, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It must. Okay. Well, oh yeah, because she's like, oh yeah, I was surrounded by shit. Yeah, yeah. And then, so so I, I kick in the front, kick in the back, and the and beams then, shoot to the side. <laughs> all right, that's acceptable. She's a child. <laughs> mm-hmm. This would be. I mean, this could be like entertaining as it is without mm-hmm. the weird the analysis, right? Analyses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah, someone yeah. shoots. Someone like goes like, said, this? like It's like the same thing as a drawing. I'm more interested in their actual drawings than yeah, I am yeah, on yeah. the analysis, right? Someone shoots like this, and then they're like, "Oh, it comes from the hand, right?" She's like, "Oh no, it actually comes from like right, right. right here. <laughs> like that's where it shoots from." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Great. I think like the one cute part from the analysis was like when Matsudada shot it all from her face and shit like mm-hmm. that. Like he's like, oh, that means like this girl is a narcissist. Like mm-hmm. she's just really feeling her own her mm-hmm. own face. And then like the other second gen members start laughing and shit. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, yo, this bitch will like never stop looking at her mirror, dude. <laughs> like, oh, well, and then they're like, and then like what? And she's like, yeah, yeah. Like we'll ask. We're like, yo, can I, can I borrow your mirror real fast? And she's like. You know, like, <laughs> like, all right, there you go. And then uh-huh. they're like, yo, yo, so Matsudada, I think your, your own face is cute. She's like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I, I can't stand my own face. And then she like covers up and she's like, no, oh, you're cute, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you dumb bitch. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Mm. Well, yeah, that that's it for. Oh, K- what about Habu? You forgot Habu. Habu <laughs> was dumb as well, dude. She's like, Habu beam. Ooh, clap them yeah, cheeks. Uh, yeah, dude, she's clapping them. Yeah. yeah, dude, she's like, yo, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, I just fucking make that shit disappear, dude. Like, I already killed him. Yeah. All done. Gotta close it off. <laughs> it's like the Hulk, dude. Yeah. So, I don't know. She's dumb. What do you want from her? <laughs> um, that's it for Kea Kake. Mm-hmm. So, next is Nogizaka. Koji Chu. This I is the one to watch. watch this one. Ooh. Did you did you want to do this one, boy? No. <laughs> Word. We're continuing from last week, so <laughs> you got this, bro. I believe oh, in Lord. you. Oh. All right, so uh, yeah, some more Okinawan adventures, right? Um, mm-hmm. So right off the bat, camera pans out, and and she thought it was like, yo. Bots support for Chinooch. She's like, yo, what? She's like, she's standing there with her umbrella and shit like that. It's like, come on, dude. Stop trying to hide from the sun. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so they're... Wait, they're- wait did, you, did you look at Yoda the whole time? She had like the jacket on with the hood and then she had like another jacket for her legs. <sighs> Didn't want to get tanned, you know? Uh, what is wrong with this group, dude? <laughs> just, get, just get dark. It's got to be fair. Skin. Get the, bro. get the tan. Bleach your hairs. <laughs> no, no, you're going for a whole different feel over here, Jimmy. I want, I want the next single to be a ga- Gyaru aesthetic, dude. <laughs> On the recent yeah, TikTok, you know. What happened to Nogizaka? Dude, they used to be so wholesome, dude. I am now a fan of Hinata Zaka. 
Let me switch my watching TV show order. Mm. No, he's not his first. Um, so, uh, first, first little event, we have like a water balloon battle where they're playing volleyball, but not volleyball rules at all, apparently, because mm-hmm. you can just pretty much do whatever, as long as you throw the water balloon over mm-hmm. and then, uh, whoever the balloon explodes on, uh, loses, right? Mm-hmm. Or is out. She is out. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, we're going to try um, to explain this one, but this one is better. I'm looking, to I'm watch. looking at Mr. Box's news, uh, like not news, uh, his, his outline, and I have no idea what to make of it. Well, so, so, like, uh, they, they're broken yeah, up I, into I can, four teams, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, there's an A, A team. It's A versus B, then C versus D. So, mm-hmm. like, an A team or B so team, two whatever. Matches. The first two yeah. teams, most, most of them are out, except for like Yamashita and Keychain. Kitano. Mm-hmm. Right? So good. We're just yeah, catching yeah. water balloons all day long. <laughs> well, okay, let me just read this outline for people, all right? <laughs> Keychain good, Yamashita good, Momoko with the win. <laughs> INA too good, Ume Mayo pretty good too, but no bonus points. Yamazaki gets hit in the face, Ren Tan throwing it at people instead of up. And that's it. <laughs> so there were like <laughs> Thank various you, Mr. Box. <laughs> strategies, right? They were that they were. Using. I mean, that that's what happened, right? For I mean, you the, can't uh, say that didn't happen. <laughs> so like some of them would like throw it really high in the air. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're expecting the 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 fall, you know, the velocity from that to when they catch but it. Some would just like chuck it right over the net. <laughs> yeah. Like a spike. Dude, like mm-hmm. like freaking uh, Ringo. Throwing that shit over, and her hands just going over the net and shit, dude. Yeah. I'm like, that is so not allowed, dude. What the fuck? So like, it was keychain versus Mizuk for the longest time mm-hmm. until they took each other out or something like that. Mm-hmm. But then yeah. in the end, like Momoko, is it Momoko? I don't know. Momoko yeah, she caught it like three times. I think Momoko wins it for the for the for her team or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the next two teams we had Mizufusen no Jo. The queen of the water balloons, Suzuki mm-hmm. Ayane. Ayane. Yeah, dude. And she was like... Do you guys remember why they called her that? Cause she caught Mayan's ball or balloon a long time ago. In, in a previous yeah, yeah, yeah. when they did right? the, in the studio, like, right? They did the, the queen the of toss. the water balloons were taking out the other team like consistently, right? No one mm-hmm. was catching she, her she water balloons. She took out a lot of them. Uh-huh. Until somebody from the other team defeated her. I don't remember who. Mm-hmm. Um, but then Reno, who was in the Queen's team, showed up like, yo, she yeah, caught dude. like four balloons. And so her yeah, team so won. I, I might be I dumb, know. but I'm sporty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was fun to watch. Yeah. The second, mm-hmm. the, the first battle was like very, like pretty much every toss was someone getting eliminated. Whereas mm-hmm. like the second battle was a little bit more rallying back and forth. So oh, I think, was, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Umezawa was pretty good. She like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She like threw it over the net, like skirted over the net barely, and like Yamazaki Rena tried to catch it, and I, like over her head, and it blew it up just right in her face. That was funny. Uh-huh. Yeah, dude. Meanwhile, I'm just like, man, everyone looks really good in this episode. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I need more loke shoots, dude. Let's get out mm-hmm. of the studio. Everyone right. looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, so at this point, everyone with uh. A low, like low amount of Batsu points gets to uh, have some free time. Free in, time, uh, Okinawa. So like, Meanwhile, everyone else is gonna move to the next location. Pretty much half of them is gone for the second part of the episode. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, they they go to the, like some tourist areas, like called like Biu Snoka. So like, oh, we're gonna be doing some quizzes and shit, you know, and then. Uh, you know, if you get your an answer right, then uh, you you lose a bots of point. You know, so what does Bios mean? Right? Like, uh, I was wondering that. I was like, the fuck does that mean? But then eventually, <laughs> that was a quiz question. So I was like, oh, thank God they don't know it either. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought my Japanese just sucked really hard, dude. Borrowed um, word. Yeah, or I think it's like Okinawa. I don't, I don't fucking know, but uh, it's like they had like a little like quiz on that. It's like, oh, I'll give you a hint. It's the word is like the meaning is in one of your songs so people just start guessing random Nogizaka uh-huh. titles and shit like oh Jikochu <laughs> yeah Jikochu yeah <laughs> you know I was like no summer yeah no <laughs> you know uh, it's uh, Inochi right so it's life right? mm. uh, life hill if you want to translate mm. it 
Um, while they're doing this shit, a hummingbird flies in, <laughs> and everyone gets fucking scared. <laughs> Yes. Was it a hummingbird or was it a butterfly? I don't fucking know. It was a butterfly. I think it was a hummingbird. <laughs> it was a butterfly. <laughs> was it, it was a butterfly? I thought it was That's a That's what hummingbird. I thought, but my note says, hum- yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Box with the fake Can news. Anyone confirm or deny? They said Age Hacho, I think. That's yeah, that's a, that's a oh. butterfly then. But um, anyways, so yeah, like they get all freaked out by the butterfly and shit like that, you know? Fucking Mukai does a... Does this move for some reason? Like, <laughs> no, get like away how, from me. how is that supposed to protect you? All right, they're walking down. But anyway, so they walk down. They see some like live chickens and shit like that. Like, oh my god, mm. that's just hella cute, dude. Oh, mm. and then like, yo, what the fuck? You were all scared of a butterfly literally <laughs> minutes ago, but now you love the chickens and shit. And then Manatsu is like, can we, do, do, do they eat these? <laughs> and she does like the fuck no dude what's, what's wrong with you yo yo Mr. Staffson tell me tell me about these chickens do you eat them and he's like N- no no these are like a protected species <laughs> and shit like they're like the national protected species or some shit and they're like <clears throat> and then she's like oh fuck dude and he's like yeah dude this bitch wanted to eat them <laughs> yeah. and, he, and then he he probably felt bad for Manatsu he's like oh dude this this uh this big headed child's pretty cute, so I'll throw her a bone and be like, "Oh yeah, but they look, they look like they taste good, right?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "We did not need that, sir." And he's like, My bad. <laughs> um, "So the next little uh, segment is uh, there's like an oh little uh, cow wagon or ox wagon, and uh, Banana Man's riding it, and they're gonna quiz the girls, and uh, if you get it right, then you get to ride on the wagon with Banana Man." Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember much of the questions and everything like that. Nobody's watching this for the questions no. anyways. I just remember is, uh, Ranze and Ranze was cute. Hooray. Yeah, mm. exactly. Mm. Dude, I'm worried because Ranze has been looking oh, no. very cute. Jimmy, don't say it. Episodes. Yeah, and I'm just like... It's just going to snap Her away all the second Junda, jet, dude. dude. Ah. Yeah, uh-huh. dude. Uh-huh. That's what it is. <laughs> Ternos... <laughs> <clears throat> But um, yeah, everyone's looking cute. Um, There's a button on the that, on the wagon. You yeah, had to like yeah, so run up to the wagon it. and press it. Mm-hmm. It starts off kind of slow, right? They're like walking along, and then eventually, <laughs> like, oh, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know. I I don't even remember if they're still doing a quiz at this point. I just remember them walking around and shit like that. <laughs> but they see a goat, and then uh, it's like, yo, you guys want to walk the goat? Like, oh yeah, dude, Yodo. Used to own a goat. Let's have her walk it and shit like that, right? Mm. So they're walking. They have like little carrot sticks to to feed the goat and shit like that. Mm. And they like start feeding it to Himura and shit like that, dude. Like <laughs> Ash feeds Himura a carrot stick, and I'm like, fuck, dude, I <laughs> want to be Himura so bad. <laughs> the hell you think I am? Yeah. A goat. <laughs> um, and then they, and then all of a sudden, she taught her calls. Oh, Himura-san. It's like what? <laughs> It's like this big ass black pig. <laughs> what'd you what'd you call my name? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. It's, uh-huh. it's pretty much it, uh-huh. right? And Saidi's like, "Oh, I'm gonna feed the pig," and then starts feeding Himura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when will we get to host an idol show and get fed carrot sticks? Yeah, dude. That's why people gotta support the show, just like. How they could watch every single week on Twitch.tv because this is the end of the show, which they can watch next week on Twitch.tv, or you can watch the official upload on YouTube.com. Indeed. You can also follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. <coughs> what else is there? There's our Patreon. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. Or Ooh. you can subscribe on Twitch. Yep. And you can tune in next week to watch us. When is it, Jimmy? Tuesdays. What time, boy? I don't know. We don't have an exact time. It's usually around like 7 seven-ish. p.m. Pacific. A little bit before that, if you want to hang out for the pre-show. There we go. And we also have a post-show, which we're about to do. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and tune in live. That's all from us this week, I feel like I kind of ended it abruptly for some reason. <laughs> yeah, very much. I was going like, yeah, to like, be like, like, oh, yeah. And so, you know, next week is more of more Okinawa and stuff like that. But hey, I it's the end the, of the show. I, we'll I see you guys seg. next week. I found the Bye. seg. I had to take it. Bye. 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 <laughs>